For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the magnitudes of f of a and f of b so that the resultant force will be right at the origin. So this will be f of r. So, first we gotta find the moments about the x. Now, assuming clockwise is positive, the moments about the x are gonna be equal to zero. Why are they gonna be equal to zero? Because if the resultant force passes right through the x, then the moment it create all the forces created is gonna be zero. They're gonna add up to zero. So, zero is equal to f of a times 0.6 plus 8 times 0.7 notice that I already converted this to meters from millimeters minus 6 times 0.65 this is this one right here times 0.65 minus f of b times 0.75 and this is this f of b times this 0.75 so these are the moments about the x and they all add up to zero. So when you clean this up a little bit, you get zero is equal to 0.6 f of a minus 0.75 f of b plus 1.7. And you get that 1.7 is equal to minus 0.6 f of a plus 0.75 f of b. And I'm gonna call this equation one now assuming a clockwise is positive for the moments about the y if f of r is passing right through the origin that means it's passing right through the y-axis and therefore the sum of the moments is zero so when you add up the moments eight times point one this is this eight times this point one plus f of b times 0.15 this is f of b times this 0.15 minus f of a times 0.15 this is f of a times 0.15 and it's negative because it's going the other way and minus 6 times 0.1 is this one times 0.1 so when you clean this up you get this is equal to 0.2 minus 0.1 5 f of a plus 0.15 f of b so we keep cleaning this up and we get 0.2 is equal to 0.15 f of a minus 0.15 f of b and I'm gonna call this equation 2 now I'm going to grab equation 1 and I'm going to multiply it by the fraction 0 0.15 over 0 0.75. So 1.7 times 0 0.15 over 0 0.75 gives me 0 0.34. Minus 0 0.6 f of a times 0 0.15 over 0 0.75 gives me minus 0 0.12 f of a. And 0 0.75 times 0 0.15 over 0 0.75 gives me plus 0.15 f of b. So now I'm going to add these two equations together and the f of b is going to cancel out. And when I add them together, I get that this is equal to 0 0.54 is equal to 0 0.03 f of a. And when you solve for f of a, you get that f of a is equal to 18 kilonewtons. And then you just plug in, plug this uh, result into equation one or equation two, whichever one you choose. I plug it into equation one right here. And then you solve for f of b, and you get that f of b is equal to 16.7 kilonewtons. Final answer for f of a, final answer for f of b. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.